whatever's on those is gonna get onto your hands and then eventually into your eyes, to your mouth, wherever it else you put those hands. <laughs> Hey sterile processing professionals, Brandon the Sterile Guy here. And in today's video, I wanna talk about to wear gloves or to not wear gloves. That is the question. Sorry to get all Shakespearean on you, but that's the subject I wanna talk about today. Now today I wanna to talk about whether gloves should be worn when assembling instruments. I think we have all seen those techs who like to wear gloves every time they're in the prep and pack area. And one thing I'll say right up front, if that is you, do whatever you feel is necessary to protect yourself. However, you need to follow the same hand washing guidelines that anyone without gloves would follow. If you touch something gross or potentially contaminated, yes, the gloves protected you, but you must also change the gloves and wash your hands and put new gloves on because you're just gonna be carrying over that contamination to something else. Sometimes wearing gloves gives you this sense of security that you kind of just forget the principles of cross-contamination. I've seen it happen, I've done it myself. But I think the real question is, when would it actually be necessary to wear gloves while prep and packing? Because we all know that we can handle instruments that come out of a washer disinfector because disinfection, according to Amy, is rendering it safe to handle without using gloves. So that means barehanded. So we know that those instruments are safe. So when is it not safe? and we must wear gloves. This is where hand washing items come in. There are some hand washing items like old proctoscopes or cameras or other types of scopes that can't go through a thermal disinfection process and don't have a chemical means of disinfection. Those end up being hand cleaned and then put through the pass-through window. Now, if you were to come up and just touch those, those have not been disinfected and rendered safe to handle. So whatever you touch them, whatever's on those is gonna get onto your hands and then eventually into your eyes, to your mouth, wherever it else you put those hands. So this is an area where gloves become necessary. If you're handling stuff through the pass-through window that is only manually cleaned, you need to be wearing gloves to assemble and package those items. Now there's a few things here. One, you're gonna have to change gloves between use. Two, you're gonna have to preset stuff up so you're not digging your glove hands into other areas like a, a mess of indicators trying to pick a couple out. You don't wanna be spreading contamination to your work environment. So when you work in this area, a lot of times the sterile processing will have what they call like a hand wash position, right? This is a person who is only peel packing and prepping packing the hand wash items. And then every once in a while they jump over and, and do other instruments. Now, anytime you switch between instrument trays, not only are you changing your gloves, washing your hands, you need to clean your area because if you're spreading contamination from one instrument set to another, that's not good either. But also if you decide, or maybe there's not enough hand wash stuff and you decide to do a regular tray, now you're spreading contamination from hand wash items to already disinfected trays. So you need to be really careful on how you do this process your hygiene standards when it comes to cross-contamination, and really making sure that your head is in the right place when you're doing these. It's such an easy thing, so simple, but it can cause the most problems in your department and for your own personal health if you're not careful. Any topics or videos you wanna see, put them in the comments down below. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.